What is going on everyone and welcome to the TC Trading Channel. So today we're gonna to be diving into how to use add and edit indicators on the Webull platform. So right now I have my charting features pull up, my swing trading customized layout pulled up. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna show you guys how to add indicators, what indicator options we have, and then how you can start using them on your own charts. So I'm gonna to go to a larger layout here so we can see the charts a lot easier. I'm gonna minimize myself and then let's get started. Okay, so right now we have a ticker symbol SNOW pulled up on our chart, a fairly recent IPO, at least when we're filming this video a couple months back. So I currently, you can see that there are no indicators on my chart. All I have right now is the candlestick patterns, which I can identify under line style, and I currently use the hollow candles. That's it. So how do I get indicators on my chart? Well, number one, I need to go to the top right into the widget section. I need to make sure that I have a chart pulled up right here, okay? That's the widget that we're in right now. And then inside of my chart up in the top left, all the way to the left side, there is an indicator little window. I know it's small, I'll zoom in for you. Okay, click on that indicator window and now boom, we have a bunch of indicators they're gonna give us on the top, but we don't want that, we want more. There's more options here. So we're gonna actually pull up all the indicators, edit them, correct them to how we like it and go from there. So we can click on all if we really want to and scroll through the indicators that way. But the easiest way to see this is by just clicking on edit indicators, okay? I click on edit indicators and from here, I can really actually do this however I see fit. So I'll zoom in so we can see this really good. But these are all the indicators that we can pull up. Okay, so they have main chart indicators right here, and I'll add a couple of those. We have sub chart indicators that we can add as well, and this extends pretty extensively all the way down, okay? So for example, if I click on volume, VOL, it'll pull up an extra volume indicator on the bottom, which is already overlaid on my screen as it is, so I don't need that personally. But if I wanna use something like the MACD, I can pull up the MACD right here, and then I can customize that. So inside of my indicator, when I click on an indicator, I can click on just adding the indicator to my chart, but then when I'm actually on and selected that indicator, I can click on the input. So I can change the inputs to my indicators right here. I can click on the style. This is where I can change the color. So if I wanna change the color of some of the lines, I can do that right here very easily, right? And if I wanna do that, I can do that. If I don't, I don't have to. I can leave what the custom settings are already, and then it'll pull up on my screen. Go back to the edit indicator tab, and then I can do the exact same thing for whatever I want. I currently on my main chart, I like to use a view up, but I'm going to actually pull up the SMAs, the MAs here on Weeble. MA stands for moving average, also known as simple moving averages as well. So if I click on MAs, I like to use the 50 MA and the 200 MA. That's just my personal preference. So in terms of the MAs, I go in here, I type in my lengths, 50 period, I type in the 200 period, boom, I got those in, and then I go on to style and I can select all the MAs that I want to. I personally only use the 50 and the 200, so I'm gonna select those. I can customize my colors if I would like to as well, and then we're good to go. Now we can see that right now we don't have enough data for the 200 SMA to be showing up on this specific stock, but we do have that 50 SMA showing up, so we have enough data for that indicator to be used. Up on the top, we can then go back and actually get rid of some indicators, so it'll be highlighted in blue if it's showing up. I can get rid of the MACD to make things simple, but there you go. That's how you actually add indicators to your chart. Make sure they are selected. Of course, if you want to edit them, you go into the indicator, click on the indicator, and make sure the indicator is highlighted under the edit tab, and then you can edit the actual inputs to that indicator so they can show up to your customized likings. Hopefully that was helpful. Quick tutorial for you guys here in this video. If you don't have access to Webull, there's a link down below in the pinned comment and description box. It'll get you two free stocks when you sign up to pause the 100 bucks with the platform. You can of course take the 100 bucks out or just use the platform as you see fit. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section what videos you would like to see next, other tutorial style things, other questions you may have, Webull, other indicators, trading related. I would be happy to make them here on this channel. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.